library It's a place where I love to be Look in a book, here's a story for you Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Milton Wordsworth Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Come and be a story maker Story makers Midnight. Hello. Welcome, one and all. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. I feel ill. Well, I think the best thing for you is to stay in bed. We can make the stories without you for one night. Come on, Jackson, let's leave her be. I'm sure she'll feel better soon. I never get ill. I'm always fit and healthy. <laughs> feel that. Go on. Feel mm. it. Mm, it's firm, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> but we all feel ill from time to time. Well, not me. <laughs> so what should we make our stories about tonight? Well, why don't you make some stories about feeling ill? Ah, splendiferous idea, Jackson. Mm. Voila. Some medicine should do the trick. Mm. Now, I could do with some help from you. This machine takes a lot of imagination to get it going. <sighs> why don't you join in? <laughs> imagine, 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 imagine a story. It's a playbook. Aha! Super sandwich. Sounds super scrummy. Mum's not so well. So Dad and Joe are on a special mission. To the supermarket. There is so much to buy. At the vegetable section. The nut and raisin section. The dairy section. Where next? Cheese. A good thick chunk. Then most important of all, the bread. Off to the till to pay for the food. Homeward bound. A pair of clean hands. All important when you're making a super sandwich. Filled with Mum's favourite food. There. Finished. It's just what Mum needs to make her feel better.
<laughs> oh, Milton. Yes, sir. Why don't we give Jelly some of her favourite food? It might cheer her up. It certainly seems like a good idea. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> jelly, Jelly. Oh, Jelly, I've got some jelly for you. Your favourite thing. Oh, no thanks, Jackson. I don't really fancy anything at the moment. Oh, dear. You are ill, aren't you? Yeah. Well, um, I'll look after it until you feel better. <laughs> Jackson, what do you think you're doing? Uh, oh, oh um, nothing, nothing. I, I, I was just going to put this spoon in the story machine. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, well, why don't I help you? <sighs> Here we go. Are you ready to help? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Ah, a poon story. It's called The Poons Are Ill. Here's the kitchen. It's early in the morning. Who lives here? A pan scourer. Mm. That scrub. There's geranium. And pop the toaster. Piece of toast. Wake up, Glug. Mm -hmm. And six wooden spoons. Mr. Spoon and Mrs. Spoon. Thin Sally and Spatch and Sam. Auntie Porridge Spurtle. Oh, hello there. And of course, Poon. The Poons live here. Thin Sally and Spatula Sam aren't feeling at all well. Now then, I'll take your temperature. <laughs> My goodness, 100. No wonder you feel poorly. Oh, we feel ill. What a pair of poorly poons. Oh, poor Sam and Sally. I wonder who I can play with. Let's see. Hello, Geranium. Hello, Poon. Where's Scrub? He's in the sink doing the washing up. Ah. Poor Scrub was the spaghetti stuck to the bottom of the pan. Crab, crab. Sally and Sam are ill. I don't feel very well either. Oh. Oh, let me take your temperature. Oh. Let's see now. Oh. Oh, oh, 101. Off to bed with you. Oh, I, I think I might be getting a bit of a headache myself. I feel very weak. Oh. Not another one. What is the mystery illness? I'm not ill. You're very lucky, Poon. In fact, I'm feeling a little tired myself. Pizza toast. I'm quite worn out. Early bedtime tonight and plenty of sleep. That's the best way to get better. But I'm all right, Auntie Porridge. <laughs> Come on, Poon. Do as Auntie Porridge says. Oh, good night, everyone. I hope you're all better in the morning. Perhaps everyone will be feeling better today. Oh, oh. Oh, la. Oh, look, we've all caught poon pox. Will the spots stay forever, Auntie Porridge? Oh, no. They'll all be gone in a couple of weeks. Mind you, don't scratch them. We do look funny. Yes, we do. But who hasn't got poon pox? Scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> hey, that was supposed to be for Jelly to make her feel better. Oh, but I only wanted a little taste, but it was so yummy. Yeah, but you'll make yourself ill eating all that jelly, you naughty little monster. I'm never ill. Anyway, I'm so bored. There's no one to play with. You can always play with me. We can be doctors. In fact, I've got just the thing. <gasps> oh, what's that for? It's a stethoscope. It's what doctors use to tell you what's going on inside your body. Isn't it time we had another story? We could use that stetho... stetho thing. <laughs> oh, very well, you little scallywag. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> One stethoscope for a story. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Imagine. 
Imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. <laughs> blue cow gets chicken pox. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, blue cow was looking at her spots. I wonder what it would be like to meet someone with more spots than me. She's off again," said the other cows. So blue cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a spotty place, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a farmyard. <laughs> and then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. She was in a huge barn, and all the farmyard animals were looking poorly. The cat had a thermometer in her mouth. The ducks had cold flannels on their heads, and everyone was coloured pink with big red spots, except for one small sheep. Ma, he said, "I'm so itchy. Can someone scratch my back?" Mm, I will," said Blue Cow. Suddenly, a chicken wearing a nurse's outfit flew down from the rafters. Puck, puck, puck. No scratching. This will stop the itching. In an instant, the chicken had covered the sheep in a pink lotion. Is that better, Jamie? Asked the chicken. Oh yes, thank you, Florence. Said Jamie. <laughs> Hello, I'm Blue Cow. What's wrong with everyone? I'm Florence. Said the chicken. They've all got chicken pox. Ooh, what's that? Well, first of all, you start to itch. Said Florence. Mm, really? Said Blue Cow, scratching her head against the barn door. Then you get a fever. Gosh! Said Blue Cow as she went red in the face. And then you get big red spots. Pop, pop, pop! Big red spots appeared all over Blue Cow. Pop, pop, pop! Moo! I'm so itchy! Said Blue Cow. Oh dear! Said Florence. You've got it too. And she covered Blue Cow in the pink lotion. Moo! That's better," said Blue Cow. "Don't worry, the spots will go soon," said Florence. "Well, perhaps you can call me Blue, Pink, and Red Cow until then," she laughed. <laughs> oh, hello! I'm feeling much better now, and I really fancy some of that jelly. Well, Jackson. Oh, I'm sorry, I ate all of your jelly, jelly, and now I feel ill too.、Ooh. Oh well, I suppose you'd better go to bed then,、mm. and don't eat my jelly again.、Oh, she's definitely feeling better.、Mm. <gasps> <gasps> Time for all of us to go. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. Through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Thanks for helping. Bye, story makers. See you again soon.